Hi friendlies, I'm Carolyn and welcome back to my RV life. It's that time of year again where thousands of, maybe tens of thousands of nomads are heading down to the desert, uh, the desert, Arizona desert for the uh, annual, I don't know how many years it is, Rubber Tramp Rendezvous, also known as the RTR. And for those of you who don't know, Cheap RV Living uh, Bob Wells has been putting on this event, I think for 10 years maybe, and it's just gotten huge since he's, he started YouTube a few years ago. And, uh, it's a pretty big event, and a lot of people who are wanting to learn about the nomad lifestyle attend this event, which is what it's for. Um, uh, I think a lot of people are starting to think of it as like a Burning Man or a Coachella, and it's not. It's not a party. It's an educational event where people can go and learn and and meet other nomads. Um, my first RTR was in, he did a rare summer one in Flagstaff three and a half years ago now, or two and a half years ago. And that was my first one. And there were literally like 150 people there. <laughs> and they're expecting like 7,000 to 10,000 at this one. Of course, the winter ones are always bigger. Um, but I went there to learn. I was a newbie and I wanted to learn from other people. Actually, I mostly went there uh, now that I think about it because I was hoping to meet other women uh, full timers and really kind of um, get some community. At that time, it was a pretty small group, and uh, there weren't a lot of, of full-time nomads there because, like a lot of things, once something becomes popular, <laughs> the, the old-school people don't want to have anything to do with it. And uh, no, I don't know if that was really the case, but there were not a lot of full-timers there. The event is for newbies to learn. And uh, so, like me, there were mostly newbies there. I did uh, meet my friend Bob, and, uh, you know, of course, as you know, we became really good friends and uh, travel together on and off still to this day. So it is a good place to go and meet people. People, find community and learn and share and uh, I guess to celebrate this life but it's not meant to be a party it's meant to be educational and in the spirit of education I am teaching there again this year I am going to be doing my boondocking seminar just like I did last year and I'm going to be teaching everybody everything I know about finding uh, great boondocking spots and the reason I have been asked to teach this is because as someone who has traveled with me, Bob Wells knows that I'm really good at finding really good boondocking spots, even in an RV. I'm really good at finding beautiful, jaw-dropping, awe-inspiring locations off the grid, away from people, with beautiful scenery, even in a 24-foot RV, or even in the RV that I had before, which was 29, fo 29 feet. If you want to see the seminar from last year, I'm going to put a link up here. Uh, I did do, I edited it down and made it fun to watch so that it's not just, um, you know, two hours of a seminar. I cut it down as much as I could. It's still pretty long and it's two parts, but go ahead and check it out. But I'm going to be doing that again this year live at the RTR. So my boondocking seminar is 10 a.m. Sunday, January 13th. I will be doing the boondocking seminar at the Rubber Tramp Rendezvous in Quartzsite, Arizona on uh, Sunday, January 13th at 10 a.m. And I think it's about 90 minutes. So it's about like 10 a.m. to about 11.30. I'll be speaking and there'll be a Q&A time and um, it'll be lots of fun. You're going to learn a lot. I'm going to share with you all my secrets and tips and tricks for finding great boondocking spots. So that is, oh, I'm also, shoot, I don't have it down my calendar yet. Bob just asked me the other day. I'm also going to be on a budget panel. So you can look at the schedule because I don't have it on my calendar yet because he just asked me. You can look at the RTR schedule by going to his website and I'll put a link down below in the video description. Look at the schedule, see when the budget panel is and I'm also going to be speaking at that. I'm also going to be speaking at the women's meeting at the RTR at 2 p.m. on Friday, January 18th. Okay, so those are my speaking events. 10 a.m. on Sunday the 13th and Friday at 2 p.m. at the women's meeting at the RTR and the, bu the budget panel I am also speaking on. Okay, so that those are all the events that you can see me at. I am also going to be hosting two meet and greets. That is a time for um, me to meet you and speak to you, shake your hand, sign autographs, whatever, whatever you want. <laughs> Not anything. <laughs> I think I'm going to limit to everything I just said. Um, shaking your hand, meeting you, saying hi, taking pictures, signing autographs and all of that stuff. Um, last year, I had half as many viewers. 
I probably had about 40 or 50,000 viewers last year. Um, we had a line, I think, two hours at long. Um, I have twice as many viewers now, so I'm going to break it into two different meet and greets so that you don't, hopefully you won't have to wait in line so long. My first meet and greet is going to be after the boondocking seminar on Sunday the 13th. So I'm expecting to be done with the seminar by 11.30. The meet and greet is not going to start until noon. Last year, as soon as I was done talking, I was um, surrounded by people and bombarded with people. I didn't get to take a break, and I ended up being um, being there for, I don't know, four or five hours straight on my feet and meeting and talking. So I'm going to try to take a break after the boondocking seminar, um, and I will, I will start the meet and greet for for friendlies at around noon, okay? Um, we're going to try to organize it a little bit this year so that there is an actual line um, so that people aren't crowded around me the way they were last year. Um, and I think also what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to do the meet and greet from 1 to, th I'm sorry, from noon to 2. At 1.30, we're going to cut the line. Uh, so you have to be in line before 1.30 so that we can end it to and keep it at two hours, okay? So starting at noon, the meet and greet, until 1.30, okay? Um, and we're going to cut the line off at 1.30, but I will be there until 2. The second meet and greet, noon on the 17th, okay? And um, both of these meet and greets I will be holding in the center of camp. Of course, the, the first one will be right after the boondocking seminar, so I'll come down off the stage and we'll meet in the area probably below the stage. And I will probably do the same thing on the 17th, after the 10 a.m. speaker is done, uh, we'll meet somewhere on the floor in the audience area and we'll do the same thing. So from noon to 1.30, also on the 17th, we will cut the line off at 1.30. We will not allow anybody else in line after 1.30. But I do want to meet as many of you as possible, uh, but we're going to have to have a cutoff time because actually the next speaker is going to be starting at 2 o'clock. So we're going to need to be wrapping it up, okay? So 1.30 you need to be in line before 1.30 um, if you want to meet me during the meet and greet. Other than that, I think I said on my New Year's video, uh, if you see me around camp, if you see me in town, please say hello. I don't mind saying hello, um, but I hope that you will respect my privacy at home, which is in my RV and around my camp. And yes, it's public land, um, you know, but etiquette of van dwellers and on full-time RVers is that you know, and campers, right? You don't, even when you're tent camping, you don't just walk right into somebody's camp. And so um, please respect my privacy and please respect just camp etiquette and not just walk right into my camp. As I've said before, I don't know if you're a friend or foe when you're coming into my camp. And uh, I work with my door open and I, I just, it, it just, I just hope that see me when I'm out, okay? <laughs> when I'm out and about, I'm fair game. I'm more than happy to say hi. I want to meet you. I want to shake your hand and take pictures. I love doing that. I love meeting you all. Um, but my home is my um, my cave and my reprieve, and it's where I go to recharge so that I can go back out and meet more people. So I hope that you can understand that, and um, I hope that you can not come knocking on my door. Thank you. Okay, that's it. I hope, um, I hope that answers everybody's questions about the RTR. I'm going to put a link um, to the RTR in this video and probably in the description so that you can get more information and stay up to date on all the happenings and all the events of it. And um, I'm going to be speaking three times formally at the RTR. I'm going to be holding two meet and greets. I'm going to be having two patron events. It's going to be a busy time. Let's talk about the women's RTR. I'm speaking, i um, doing both panels. There's a hygiene panel and a safety pan panel. I will be doing those. And I am also doing um, a mini session on the 4th. So on the 4th, I'm doing a mini session at 2 p.m. Anyway, on the 6th and 7th, I'm doing the panels. I have them down at 10 a.m. I think that might be right. All right. And at the Women RTR, same thing. I'm not going to host any formal meet and greets. It's a smaller venue. Uh, feel free to come up and say hi. And I look forward to meeting you all. All right. I'll see you all soon. And um, enjoy the RTR. Enjoy being a snowbird. And um, I hope you learn a lot. And I hope you meet some people. And have fun. And uh, be happy. And be free. And be kind. I'll see you soon.